So I'm going to be doing the M&M experiment today. I've got the M&M's and I've got the glass cup where you can see it. So now I'm just going to fill it, this glass cup up with water and I'm going to put the m and in. So I got some cold water in this cup and I've got a blue m and &M. Now I'm going to put it in. As you can see, it's not really doing that much that fast. You can you can see a little traces of blue coming up. Now I'm going to mix it with a spoon and see if anything happens. So now um the dye is coming out a lot more quickly when I mix it with a spoon. So it's nearly done. So now you can see the water's now blue so when we did the m and um experiment you could see it when you just put a whole m and m into the cold water it would go it would it the dye would go out but not as fast as it would in the hot water and it go faster when you'd mix it up because um you'd be touching, you'd be letting the M&M touch more of the water so the particles could get out. And with the hot water, it go faster because um, cause you'd heat up the particles um, in the M&M, making, vibrating them, making them uh, break apart and come into liquid. And uh, the fastest way was when we cut them in half and put them in hot, wa luke warm water, and it made them go fast because the surface area was larger and made um, uh, it made it go faster, and it didn't make it have a stronger blue color because it was cut in half. The reason it went faster was was because more of the particles could get um, touched by the water and um, and yeah. So now if you look at it, you can see that M&M is not blue anymore. It's white and has blue spots on it. This is what it looks like now. Now I'm going to go tip this water out and fill it up with warm water and see if it makes any difference. So now as uh, it has warm water, I'm going to go put this other blue M&M in the water. It's not doing that much so far. You can start to see little blue things coming out though. I think it is coming out a bit faster than the cold water though. So now I'm just going to mix it. And as you can see, it's very blue now. This is just after that one mix and it's very blue so I think the warm water really made the dye come out a lot faster. So this is the this is the blue. This is it blue, and this is the M and M. It didn't take long at all for it to come like that, but it is now fully blue, and it's quite foggy. The water, and yeah.
Okay, so now I've got some lukewarm water. Um, I just filled it up from my tap, and now I'm just going to be getting another M&M blue again. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to be cutting it in half. What I think will happen is it will, uh, the, the dye will, it will make the water blue a lot more quickly because of, um, the surface area, like when you cut potatoes and you put them into, uh, the pan because you want to make mashed potatoes, you want to cut them small if you want them to cook faster. So I'm just going to cut the M&M's now. So now I've cut the M&M in half. I'm going to be using this half and drop it in here. So as you can see, not much is happening right now because I just put it in. But you can see it's starting get flow around. So now I'm gonna mix it as I've mixed it with my other ones. And as you can see it's very blue now and it is going a lot faster. And because it's chopped in half, there won't be as much dye as it would um, if you had a full one. So there's not gonna be as much, it's not gonna be as much blue as it is, but it has gone a lot faster than the rest. So as you can see, it's not been long at all and it's already blue. But it's a lighter blue because it was chopped in half. And here's the M&M. I can't find it. Yeah, it's a bit hard to see. As you can see. Well, yeah. Because it's, um, it's not transparent. Okay, so I finally found the M&M. This is what it looks like. 